Hello, this is BSJ, and this video is to help you understand why and when Legion is a good pick, the heroes that particularly counter her, making it hard for her to win duels, and heroes that make it a struggle for her to win her lane. The heroes that are generally good against Legion Commander, in my opinion, are ones that make it so that they can interrupt the duel, no matter if she has BKB or not. And I don't particularly mean like stuns that go through BKB, but heroes like Dazzle, who can grave the target that she's dueling, or Winter Wyvern, that can cold embrace the target she's dueling, pretty much ensuring that she won't finish the duel. The big part of Elsie's kit is the fact that she gets damage from winning duels. So if you get ahead at all, the more damage you have, obviously the faster the duels go and the more she life steals from her counterattack. So she naturally becomes tankier with her duel wins. So pretty much any hero that keeps her from winning a duel that can really save the hero that you're dueling is generally where I would recommend not having her be a good pick. I believe Legion Commander is a very strong pick in this meta when the enemy team especially has a single core, such that if you were to remove that hero from the game, it'd make the team significantly weaker. So, I, And also when they have no defensive supports to save her. So the main focus on the hero is that since she wins basically every mana fight because of her blade mail usage, being able to even against high damage heroes like Phantom Assassin, dueling them before their BKB comes off, they'll pretty much kill themselves on you before you die. So the whole thought of the consideration of the hero when picking her needs to be when the enemy team doesn't have supports that can save the hero you're dueling, as well as the fact that they can't shut you down in lane. So you want to focus on having a good start and being able to win your duels. So if the enemy team has heroes like Dazzle, like Wyvern, like Shadow Demon, heroes that can disrupt your duel without you being able to do anything about it. You can't you can't build any item to stop a Dazzle from shallow graving the person you're dueling. That's the kind of heroes that really counter Legion Commander and the times not to pick her. The times when you really want to focus on picking her, other than when they just have a solo core, is when knowing that you're going to be able to match yourself up in a lane that she's that she's strong. Whether it's in a du I think she's only strong in an off lane as a dual hero with a other hero backing her up. Usually a defensive one, such as a Baden or Witch Doctor or Dazzle, something that gives her that extra bit of tankiness to be able to man up on heroes um, in the early stages of the game. Or when you know that the other team will have a solo offlaner, so that's a melee hero especially, because you'll be able to nuke them very hard when they're in the middle of the creep wave, as well as the fact that you can harass them very significantly in lane better than they can harass you because of your high base damage and your lifesteal slash extra damage from your counterattack. So the hero is really good at being a hero that you pick for lanes, as well as a hero that you pick to synergize with your other core. So most of the time, if you are playing off lane, you can consider it with your carry or your mid, but you want to think of it as a hero that benefits from frontlining that also does a lot of right-click damage. So heroes like Slark do a lot of right-click damage, heroes like Shadow Fiend, stuff that you want to be sitting in front and can man up where she can help benefit their ability to man up on other heroes and make them that much more tanky because she gives them a heal as well. So heroes like Templar Assassin as well, heroes like Phantom Assassin, heroes that just want to go in. And that's what Legion Commander really synergizes with because if she goes with a hero on her team that goes in, it makes it much easier for you to initiate if the other hero is frontlining so that you can have better positioning to look for a duel. Because if there's a tension on somebody else, it makes it much easier for you to do your job as a Legion Commander. If the other team's just waiting for you to duel and you're the frontliner, then that makes it very hard to pull off your job as Legion Commander. So you really want to pick her to synergize with other heroes that frontline, and you want to pick her to win her lane. So that's the main focus of the hero. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something from it. And if you feel like you did, you can check out my stream on twitch.tv slash banana slam jamma and check out my other guides on game leap